All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about this rock ejector a little more. I got down to the Guadalupe River this past weekend. I stayed two nights there and then one night on the Colorado River. And anyway, uh, they're a lot different than what I locally run here, like the Red and Sabine. Lots of gravel, lots of gravel. And so finally, got to really put this rock ejector to ejection rocks, not just sticks, leaves, mud, and sweet gum balls. Uh, and I've had this thing a little over a year, and uh, I mean, I put a lot of hours on a boat, you know, definitely more than probably the typical person does, and uh, I don't drive them light. You know, I go where it feels like I should be able to try to go. But anyway, no way. Different subject there, but I just want to show you all the shape that this thing is still in. Everything I've hit, ran over, jumped, and I don't know how much of it you could see. The lighting isn't perfect, but the new, the newer rock ejectors i even travel down further than this one around one inch further which is probably beneficial but probably not even necessary because this one's worked flawless for me when we were on the guadalupe um every time we pulled up to camp you know it's just shallow gravel bar <laughs> every time i'd leave i could eject I wouldn't have to trim off I always had rocks shoved up in here and uh I wouldn't want my boat with that one anymore, especially going down there, South Texas, and riding those rivers with all those rocks. But it's just the simplest thing to install. You know, two bolts there, tighten that up, and here's where your lever is, which it's up right now, and down, it just locks down. The cable's not in the way. It's a simple measurement. You can just use a rope or a string. You just. It didn't got to be that precise. I mean, unless where you're mounting it is, there's no fluctuation, um, which is probably unlikely. I like mine there on the floor. I even, you know, contemplated mounting it right here. <clears throat> if you're a console guy, I'm sure you even have more options. But this thing saves a lot of back work when you get in those gravel rivers. All right, I jumped inside here. Just gonna show you how simple of a movement it is. That closes it and that opens it. And the technique you wanna use when using it is you obviously do wanna kill the engine. If you don't kill the engine, the impeller's still gonna be sucking things up toward the impeller and into the pump. So you always wanna kill the engine, rake it a few times and you're gone. Uh, it, it's been the most beneficial accessory I've put on this boat. And, uh, and I'm only bragging about it really big now because after going down there, like I said, to the Guadalupe and that gravel, I mean, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. I don't know how many times I probably use that thing. I know I use it every time I pulled up to where we camped at because it got real shallow and we, we graveled out every time, even when I trimmed the motor up to just kind of run the boat up on the bar there. So Anyway, guys, look into it in the description be a link jim schultz the, who, the guy who created it he's the guy who's selling it so easy to deal with simple folks